we're going to continue graphing quadratic functions, but this time we're going to look at what happens if we add or subtract before we square. And so what we want to do is let's, let's just graph our basic graph. So the blue graph will be f of x equals x squared. And so our blue graph starts at 0, 0, because we're not adding anything before or after. Over 1, up 1, and over 1, up 3. So here's our standard f of x graph. Now, let's talk about what happens if we let f of x be x minus 2 squared instead. Remember, we want a reference point, and our reference point is wherever this is 0. So what makes x minus 2 0? Well, if x is 2, then we get 2 minus 2, which is 0, and 0 squared would give us our appropriate value. So our x is 2. So we're actually at 2, 0 as our reference point. We're over here. And then from there, we go up 1 over 1, and then up 1 over, or up over 1, up 3. And we get the same graph, but notice that we shifted it to the right two places. And so this is called a horizontal shift. And notice that it does the opposite. Our reference point is at h0. It does the opposite of whatever the sign is. So x minus 2, we're at positive 2. That means if we were to look at one more, let's look at g of x equals x plus 1 squared. We take this and we change its sign, and that says it's at minus 1. So we're going to start right here at minus 1, so we're going to go over 1, up 1, and then over 1, up 3. And notice that every point has been moved one spot to the left to get our graph. And so we just take whatever the opposite sign is, and we move in that direction. Now, we also want to talk about domain and range. And again, in all cases, my default case, the domain is minus infinity to infinity. In the green case, the domain is minus infinity to infinity. And for our purple line, the domain is also minus infinity to infinity. Our range for all of these, since we're not adding anything after, k is 0, our range in all three cases is 0 to infinity, because we start at 0 and we move to infinity. So if you can find your starting place, then you know where to go with your graph.